Hi guys, here as you can see is a 2.7 volts, 500 farads super capacitor. Its weight as you can see is 60 grams and now I'm going to check the voltage across it although I have not charged it yet you can see that it must have been charged before for uh, checking purposes and it has still 0.15 volts on it now link for buying this supercapacitor has been provided in the description now what I'm doing is building uh, the charging circuit for this supercapacitor now guys this circuit is a 220 volts to 12 volts DC circuit for charging batteries a video for which I made a few months back but I didn't use this circuit much so for that reason I'm going to modify the circuit by replacing the transformer 220 volts is the input and the output will be somewhere around 4.2 volts So guys as you can see that I have given 220 volts input supply to the transformer and the output on the capacitor is showing 4.10 volts. Now what I am doing is measuring the overall short circuit current at which the super capacitor is going to get charged which is 1.94 amperes almost 2 amperes. So it's time to connect the terminals to the super capacitor and it's really important that uh, the red wire is connected to the positive and black wire is connected to the negative as you can see that the voltage at present is only 0.69 volts and increasing I've connected the pins of the multimeter on the capacitor now this is not going to indicate the exact voltage across the capacitor because in between the capacitor and the super capacitor there is wire across which there is going to be high voltage drop because of high current as you can see the voltage now is 0.92 volt and after 6 minutes of charging it has reached 2.68 volts across the capacitor You can see how nice and shiny it is yeah you can see that it is only 2.56 volts and on the meter initially it was showing 2.70 or 2.68 volts that was because I didn't include the drop across the wires you can see this is a 12 volts car indicator bulb that is glowing and this one is a 12 volts 55 watts car headlamp bulb this requires around 5 amperes to blow now this is a mini DC motor and it's working fine it's 1.5 volts
Now guys, uh, this one is a 12 volts, 6 amperes power window DC motor. And I'm going to uh, run this with the super capacitor. So as you can see that it has started running at a very slow speed because I'm not giving it 12 volts and I'm giving it only 2.7 volts at the max. You can see that its torque is so high that it is just impossible to stop. But it's practically not possible to stop with hands. Yeah, now let's move on to an even higher amp DC motor which is going to be the bike starter motor with a maximum peak starting current of up to 100 amperes and a free running current of 15 amps. So I'm going to test this super capacitor with this DC motor. Whoa, it's actually running the DC motor. Although the speed is not very high, but still it is uh, running and running continuously. It is not even getting discharged uh, really fast. This means that this super capacitor 500 farad has a large discharge current capability. Yeah, it's working fine. Now guys, here I am going to measure the volts left on this capacitor after such heavy usage. As you can see, it is still 1.37 volts, which is pretty good. And now I am going to connect this drill chuck to the shaft of this starter motor so that its rotation is visible better than it was previously. As you can see at just 1.5 volts the starter motor is picking up current and running really fast and more importantly the capacitor is discharging current enough to start the starter motor at 1.5 volts and guys now I'm pretty sure that if five of these capacitors are connected in series to create 12 volts then they would be enough to start or self start your bike engine. It's like magic that after so much usage, it still has charge on it enough to light up this 55 watts car headlamp bulb and it's glowing continuously. Now guys, uh, this is a 24 volts, 20 amperes, which makes it a 480 watts DC motor. And as you can see that even this DC motor is running with this small, just a 60 grams super capacitor. These are just incredible. They have a very high power to weight ratio. Now guys, this is a 24 volts, 250 watts incandescent reflector bulb. You can see how thick the filament is inside the bulb. It is so thick that it is taking time to glow and retains that heat for some time. <laughs> 